Hi, I'm Renee and I'm here on Be A Fun Mum to talk to you about hiking with your family. We have recently downsized from a camper trailer in our family to Swags and have been doing quite a lot of hiking with our children and they've enjoyed themselves so much that we've decided to take it a step further and actually bring them into the world of trail hiking. So they are five and eight, um, so obviously that has a number of um, issues in terms of what they can and can't carry, weight restrictions, all that kind of thing. Um, so what I'm going to show you today is the kit that I've put together for my eight-year-old daughter. Um, with children, you need to be careful about how much weight you are actually giving them. You One, you want them to enjoy themselves and not hate you for taking them hiking. And secondly, you don't want to create any long-term potential damage um, with just too much weight on their shoulders, back and, and hips. So let's get started. Um, I've been hiking since I was a teen. Um, haven't been hiking the last couple of years with, since my children were small. In my family of four, I'm the only one that has any experience in hiking. So my parents used to take us orienteering. We were involved in Duke of Ember Award. Uh, so we did quite a lot of um, exploration uh, throughout all of Southeast Queensland actually. So I'm really excited that my family has decided that this is something that we will do together because uh, I have some very fond memories of um, hiking with my family, my, my parents, my brother and my sister. So um, what's exciting is getting started. So here we go. With my daughter, what we've decided to do is we picked up a 30 litre backpack off Gumtree for around $20. So that's a really good place to start if you don't already have other necessary kit. Obviously you can always borrow friends and family, um, you can look at hiring hiring gear. But I found Gumtree actually had quite a lot of um, backpacking gear available. So have a look. 30 litres is more than sufficient for an eight year old. She's actually quite tall so I don't have an up issue that this will be too big for her. Um, I've already um, fitted it on her back and it fits quite well. Um, it's got adjustable shoulders and um, padding for to carry down on her waist so she's not carrying all the weight up on her shoulders and, and upper back. So that's something you want to look for when you're hiking is you want all your weight to actually sit down on your hips and your hips to carry um, most of the weight, whereas your shoulders um, are more about just balancing, balancing that weight. In terms of sleeping gear, um, I found this silver roll sleeping mat at Kmart. This, the silver um, coating is actually good for um, as a thermal breaker. So obviously, I love hiking in winter. Um, the reason for that is the snakes are a little less active, and I hate snakes. So the silver lining should hopefully act as a little bit of a resistance for the cold coming through from the, um, from the ground up. Because when you're, when you're hiking, when you're camping, you're sleeping on the ground, that's when you actually get a chill. Um, it's not from above, it's actually from below. So I'm hoping that might give them a little bit of a barrier. Um, these were $10 and I've actually cut one mat in half for both of my children. So I've got a five-year-old coming with us as well. So it ends up about a metre, just under a metre um, for each mat. Sleeping bags. Uh, I was quite lucky that when I went to weigh our sleeping bags, because two things you've got to keep in mind when you're hiking is weight and bulk, that in a moment of brilliance, I've actually bought fairly lightweight um, sleeping bags for my kids that are negative 10 um, temperature and also come in a compression bag. So a compression bag is the ones with these uh, little pull tags. What that does is it pushes the air out of the sack to make it more compressed and take up less space in your pack. So that's what you need. This, this sleeping bag's uh, 1.5 kilos, so not the lightest um, bag, sleeping bag for hiking, but you know, ideal for, for beginners and um, you know, starting out. So we don't expect to hike any more than seven kilometers a day with the kids, um, particularly with packs, and we'll be following trails. So we won't be trailblazing through the bush, mm -hmm. um, through <laughs> overgrown um, bushlands. We'll be actually following walking tracks. So um, the fact that that's a 1.5 shouldn't be a problem. This here is just an old yoga mat. Um, which I've cut into four pieces and basically that will become our seat when we're at our campsite or if we're pulled up somewhere to have lunch. 
what that does is actually acts as a barrier so if it's wet um, you've got something to sit on so your butt doesn't get all wet because one of the, the key things you've got to keep in mind when you're hiking is you want to keep quite dry I guess like most mums the things the thing is that's bothering me the most and I'm freaking out a little bit here about hiking in winter is cold um, when we we normally camp in winter every year um, that's not unusual for us but when we're camping uh, in our camper trailer or in the swags um, I've got the advantage of having a car which I can pile full of blankets and um, just additional layers of clothing when you're hiking obviously because weight is a concern um, <laughs> I'm freaking out a bit about my kids getting cold during the night so what I've done is um, given my daughter a, a polar fleece, um, a Kathmandu um, polar fleece to keep her warm as her upper layer and I think I actually bought that just second hand, it was mine, put it in the dryer and it trunks so and now it fits her. Because we camp in winter, winter every year I, I always have a set of thermals for my kids, these are just the ones from Aldi, I find them really good. Uh, thermals are fantastic because they're fairly lightweight, they stay close to the skin so they keep the warmth in. Um, and yeah, these ones from Aldi are great and they're quite uh, cost effective. So that will be their pajamas for the night and that hopefully will keep them warm. Obviously a pair of undies. Um, and then we've also got a pair of, these are snow, snow socks, but you want a, a nice pair of warm fluffy socks to put on your feet at night. So um, either snow socks or wool socks or just a nice pair of acrylics. Anything obviously that's got a wool blend in it, it's fantastic because it just keeps your feet um, warm and dry. My daughter has also got in terms of a waterproof barrier, her snow jacket. So this is her snow jacket that we took um, to the snow last year. Snow jackets are fantastic because they act as a wind and um, waterproof barrier. So yes, it's a bit bulky, it's a bit heavier than other gear on the market, but she's already got it in her wardrobe, so we don't have to um, output any additional expense there. It's also got a hoodie on it, it's got everything she needs. Uh, so at night, when she goes to bed, either if she's cold, she would wear that in her sleeping bag, or I would actually put that down on top of the, um, the sleeping mat to act as an additional barrier to stop that cold air coming through. She's also got her beanie, and this beanie isn't lightweight, uh, a, a light fleece would be better, but it's her favourite and her um, grandma gave it to her, so she really wants to take that with her. In terms of the other items here, this plate is just a lightweight um, hiking plate that was actually what my brothers and sisters and I used to take when we were hiking when we were teens. Um, my parents. 20 years plus down the track, still had most of our hiking gear in the back shed, which was pretty amazing. A little bit scary that they've held onto it, but amazing that we could go in there and actually raid and pull out all this gear that we used to take hiking. So, um, look, any, any lightweight plastic bowl would be more than suitable. You don't want to take a plate and a bowl because it just adds additional weight. When you're hiking, again, you want to keep that weight and bulk down. So going for a bowl or this kind of semi-bowl plate is fantastic because you can still eat your spaghetti, your two-minute noodles, and your cereal, if you're taking cereal, all out of the, the one plate. So go for that. In terms of cutlery, um, I've just grabbed some old um, toddler cutlery we had in the cupboard still. She gets the pleasure of carrying the toilet paper, so we'll be keeping her close when we, uh, we need to... <laughs> we need the, to use the bush facilities. I've also put in a pair of thongs. So thongs are great for wearing around the campsite once you've you finished your hike for the day, or if you have to do a wet crossing. So if you need to cross over a creek or something and you're not sure whether the kids might fall in and get their shoes wet, it's a good idea just to get them to take their gear off, put the thongs on, walk across, put their shoes back on. She will also be carrying a walkie talkie. Uh, those aren't necessary. We just have walkie talkies because the kids love playing with them when we're, um, when we're out in the bush. So we've just got them as a little bit of fun so they can communicate backwards and forwards. She's got sunscreen there, which is 50 plus. You can also click on the outside of her pack. Uh, she's got her headlamp there because when you're out at, um, hiking at night, obviously it's quite dark. So having a headlamp is great because you don't lose your, your torch. 
And then we've just put in her pack, um, a lamp for the whole camp sort of just pulls apart. It's quite lightweight. Um, I don't know if we will continue to carry this in future, future hikes and now I won't be able to put it back together. But yeah, we're gonna give it a go for this time. If she was hiking for more than an overnighter, her kit wouldn't actually change that much. Um, the only thing additional she may have in there is more socks and more underwear. Other than that, um, you tend to put the clothes back on that you've worn day by day. I know that sounds disgusting, um, but you're already dirty, you're already wet, you're already sweaty. Um, hiking's not about being a glamour queen. Uh, hiking is about getting out in nature. So by the time you come back, you are rather fragrant. Um, so, you know, maybe don't go straight out into public, come home, have a shower. But that, that's her kit. Um, in terms of food and water, uh, my husband and I will be carrying most of the food and most of the water. Both of those things can be quite heavy, food not so much. She will probably carry some of her own little snacks like muesli bars, and maybe a bar of chocolate, um, two minute noodles, those things are all quite light. Water is something to keep in mind is that obviously you need to have water on you, but every liter of water actually equals a kilogram of weight. So you don't want to put too much water on a child because it just adds to the weight they've got to carry. Overall, her kit is under four kilos. So that's awesome. Um, that's a weight that she can actually carry more than that for her age and size. But we've tried to keep it really, really light to start with just to see how she goes as her first ever hike. So if she feels like um, she can carry more, that's fantastic. We'll make sure that next hike we put more, more on her kit. Potentially more water would be um, what we would give her, give her to carry. You don't want to send them out there with no water. Um, they need to carry at least 500 mils on them, um, but I wouldn't give them any more than that. Additional things that I'll be adding to her kit that she'll be carrying on her person and not inside the bag on the day would be a whistle, um, just in case, you know, worst case scenario, they slip on off a, tra off a track and you're trying to find them. So a whistle is great because they can blow on that and um, you'll be able to find them quickly. So I just want that to hang around, hang around her neck. Um, the, the little whistles that I've ordered off eBay were only like $1.50 and I've actually got a little compass on them as well. So I can't wait for those to arrive. They haven't turned up yet. Um, so that's another thing. Have a look on eBay. eBay's got some like, really awesome starting out gear for hiking. Um, I've also, our cooking gear is from Aldi. Um, you know, they're all great places to start. Just start small, see how much you can borrow, look on eBay, look on Gumtree and uh, put your kit together. In terms of what my husband and I are carrying, it's not that much different from what's in front of you now in terms of um, clothing. The other additional things we've got with us are obviously we'll be carrying the food and the water, um, first aid kit, um, gas, the gas stove, the cooking utensils and bowls and plates and things. Uh, my five-year-old will only be carrying his clothes. Um, he won't be carrying his sleeping bag because that's too heavy for him. So I've got three, two sleeping bags in my, my pack and my husband's got the um, tent in his pack because that's really quite heavy. So that's us to get started. I um, hope you've found it helpful and get out into the bush.